Based on one of my most popular videos, we're back in Waxahachie, Texas, checking out some available Chesmar homes. Well, my name is Josiah Beam. I'm a local real estate agent here in the DFW area, and you're watching Living in Ellis County, Texas. And today we are back in the Oaks at North Grove. And today, like I talked about, we're gonna be walking through some currently available Chesmar Homes inventory. Uh, like I said, one of my most popular videos is the Chesmar Homes at Lakeway Estates, and those are on acre home sites. Uh, but, you know, those price points are in the seven to $800,000 mark. And today we're gonna be looking at some of these Chesmar Homes that are on smaller lots but they are in the low 400s and into the $500,000 mark. So uh, you get all the great things that you love about the Chesmar Homes models, but just a little bit less land and uh, a more affordable price point. So let's go ahead and get out to the first one right now. So the first one we're gonna be taking a look at is right behind me here. It's 702 Majestic Oak Lane. And this is the Princeton floor plan. It's the same floor plan as their model home here in the neighborhood. And it has got some really cool features. So let's go ahead in and check them out right now. So just inside this Princeton model here, uh, we're gonna do uh, similar to last week, a little bit of a walk and talk through this home. So. Uh, you got the, a really nice entryway. You've got the recessed ceilings up here as well. In the model, they've got a little woodworking up top. Some of that is a little bit extra, it dresses it up, um, but that's something you could do after market if you were to buy it. So uh, that's a really cool feature. Uh, in this Princeton model, it is a 2,700 square foot home. It's four bed, three bath. Uh, you can add an optional fifth bathroom. Uh, and then you have an office here up front as well. So uh, you've got office with a big window view out front and then these double doors here, uh, glass double doors as well. So it's got a lot of space here and we're gonna go ahead and flip around and show off this front bedroom that we've got. We've got a little bit of extra storage here, coat closet right off of the entryway and so you've got that all covered there then you've got you know a bathroom right here with a full bath uh, you've got one sink and then you got your your commode there and then a shower with your drop down pan and a bench seat as well so no tub up here at front but there is a tub and a bathroom further back in the home that we'll go ahead and cover and then bathroom uh, with a uh, full bedroom here up front as well. So we've got, you know, a full walk-in closet here. And in a way, this is kind of like its own little living quarters up here. You can't really close it off um, like we've seen with some other builders. I'm sure, you know, that may be an option that you could do, you know, adding uh, a door right here if you'd like to eventually. Uh, that way you could almost have like a whole closed off living quarters with its own bathroom and everything right there potentially if you'd like to so we're heading on in and we're taking a look at the kitchen here behind me and notice this huge island it's over 12 foot right there and it is just a showstopper i really love it another feature here that they've got built in charging for your cell phone right in the countertop, that's pretty cool. Uh, these do come with um, a water purifier uh, with your sink uh, already installed and ready to go. And so that is definitely nice. Uh, this community does have gas as well. So you've got uh, your gas cooktop and you can upgrade this uh, to a larger gas cooktop as well. Um, also, you've got your microwave and oven. This can be upgraded to a double oven option potentially as well uh, if you've got that in your budget, if you're building from the ground up. And here we've got uh, a vent hood that is vented to the outside as well. So we're gonna swing around here, tucked away. Back here, you've got your pantry and then your two car garage here as well. Uh, you notice you've got 
options for your garage door to have windows as well. And here we go, we're gonna go ahead and back around. We've got you know, your traditional dining space right here off the kitchen and then your laundry room as well. So we'll go on over here, check out this laundry room. Got a little bit of a window here, letting in a little light, you know, so that's nice as well. And this big, arch ceiling I, I just love this arch ceiling and this door right here it is an upgrade but I think it is so so cool check this out so you can open this thing all the way up here and Right now, we are in October in Texas, and this is about the perfect time to have this open and let some fresh air come into the home. It is just an awesome focal point. Not only does the you know, arch ceiling uh, show off that back patio, but the arch ceiling continues out to the back patio as well. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and back to the other two bedrooms back here. And this is also where there's additional flexibility in this floor plan. So you've got right here in between the third and fourth bedroom, you've got a game room right here. Now in uh, the, the floor plan, if you're building from the ground up, you can actually turn this into an optional fifth bedroom. So if you wanted to maximize the space even more, you've got that ability to do so and back here in the master bedroom we've got three big windows off to the back and then another window kind of looking out to the back patio there as well uh, if you're building from the ground up you can make that actually a door to the back patio uh, that is a potential option so uh, here in the master bath we got a nice big sunk in shower and uh, with the bench seat as well uh, really big, you know, master closet uh, with the ability to hang clothes way up top as well. And then you've got your uh, divided vanities here with the tub in the middle. Um, if once again, if you're going from building from the ground up, you can make that a standalone tub as well. So lots of functionality and uh, features, you know, that you can maximize here. That beautiful Princeton floor plan that we were just walking through is available currently after a price reduction for $499,000. All right, so this next one we've got here is 683 Majestic Oak Lane. And this one is about 435,000. It was just reduced down from 465,000. It is uh, a really pretty home inside. It's a little bit different than the Princeton floor plan. This is the Mansfield floor plan. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look inside and show off what's a little bit different about it. All right, so right away as you walk into this Mansfield floor plan, you notice you have a really wide entryway and I'm gonna walk in further into the living room just so you can kind of take a look and see just how big that entryway is. Really wide, it's got that recessed ceiling up top as well uh, and it's just really pretty. Um, so right again, we've got a front bedroom here uh, right off of the entryway so we've got the front bedroom here looking out, windows looking out to the street. Got good closet space there as well. And then you've got the same uh, kind of, you got a linen closet here right off the bedroom. And then also a full bathroom again right here. You got your sink commode and then your bench seat walk-in shower option there. So walking in further, we've got the entrance to the two-car garage here. All 
with that light coming in from the garage door and then your laundry room right off of the garage there so and you've got a window that's coming in from the front porch and also right off that entryway we've got a great office here and you got your three light uh, windows there letting in the light and then your glass doors here so this is a four bedroom three bath option uh, the bedrooms are a little bit smaller here than in the Princeton floor plan that we were just walking through but uh, you've also got here the, the really great uh, arch ceilings uh, and then that does continue out to the back patio again you just don't have that big you know sliding door there You've got the electric fireplace here as well has a great focal point and then in the kitchen another amazingly large island here great for hosting tons and tons of cabinet storage space and counter space here as well and you've got gas cooktop vented uh, vent hood out outside and you got your oven and microwave all built in just showing the other side of the island here you got your dishwasher and then once again the drinking water that is filtered uh, coming you know in clutch right there so we've also got the pantry right here it is not super deep but it is wide so definitely you can walk in here and you know get to everything very well so uh, tons of storage options there and then you've got you know your traditional kind of little uh, eating area right here off the kitchen as well big covered back patio you know with that arch ceiling again and then we're coming back in here to the master this master is a little bit smaller you got the tray ceiling here uh, but it's a little bit smaller than the last floor plan we we're looking at but still plenty of space got the windows out to the back then you've got the same kind of split design here uh, with your tub in the middle and then the vanities split here so as well as walk-in shower with the bench seat as well and then you got your commode here storage up above and then walk-in master closet as well with tons of space to store everything here let's go ahead and go back and take a look at the third and fourth bedrooms with the additional bathroom that they can utilize uh, that bathroom is right here we've got the vanity and toilet as well as the shower tub combo i know the shower tub combo can come in clutch for sure if you got little ones uh, it's nice to have that as an option and um, so you got the flexibility you've got the shower tub combo but then you've also got another big tub in the master as well as the two walk-in showers as well so this bedroom has got a really nice big walk-in closet and uh, then a great window out to the side there of the home and the same thing here nice window out to the side and then another nice big walk-in closet so for this floor plan being at 435,000 uh, it is you know a little bit of a smaller lot uh, the last one that we were looking at uh, definitely was a bigger lot so there's probably a little bit of a lot premium on that one um, but this one right here off of the back porch you've got green space back here and you got the wrought iron fence so you don't have any neighbors behind um, well they're back behind that tree line so uh, it's definitely a nice little view from this beautiful back porch here back out here on the back patios another really really cool option that they've got here 
you can see this gas pipe coming out of the wall. So it's already got the gas coming out and it's ready for you to hook up to your gas grill and uh, you know, go ahead and fire up that grill. Uh, another potential option you could use there if you've got a generator uh, that you're running off of natural gas. I don't know if that location would be perfect for it, but could be another option uh, if it's got the right fittings on it and everything you know, to hook up to a gas powered generator. Right, so next up behind me here, we've got the Raleigh floor plan that's currently available for about $450,000. Uh, it's got green space behind, so we'll check that out. It is a three bed, two and a half bath with an office and a game room. So uh, right at about 2,600 square foot. So it's a little bit of a different use of the space here, but uh, you know, you could change that game room into a bedroom if you wanted to make it a four bedroom. Uh, but it is a really cool design. So let's go ahead in there and take a look at it. All right, so we're inside this Raleigh floor plan and uh, right here, uh, here's the entrance that you can see, same eight foot door with that uh, glass that's letting the light in. And then you've got like this side transom window here letting in more natural light, which is great. Uh, right here off of the front, you've got uh, a linen closet and then you've got your two front bedrooms nice big size bedrooms here you got you know a nice window looking out an additional window there looking out the front and then even another window in the closet here nice deep walk-in closet there on this front bedroom and we've got a bathroom that these uh, two share so we've got one uh, vanity there and then we've got a door closed off for the shower tub combo and then toilet as well we've got the nice natural light coming in there above the shower there as well and we've got the second bedroom here window out to the side and a really nice deep walk-in closet there as well so moving back over this way Right off the entryway, we've got uh, access to the two car garage. Now this garage does not have uh, the windows in it. So that's also an option if you didn't want the windows coming uh, into the garage. Nice large laundry room here with this beautiful tile floor and a little window out to the side there. So, and then we've also got right off the uh, laundry room and garage access to a half bath as well So that's nice for you know, just coming in after work or you know, whatever it may be you got family or company over um, and Then you've got right off of the entryway here. You've also got a nice coat closet and this is that option you know right at about 2600 square foot four hundred fifty thousand dollars get this really big game room here uh, you know nice tall ceilings you could make it you know a, a fourth bedroom if you wanted to you didn't if you didn't want the game room uh, but you can kind of be tucked away here you got solid doors here that you can close everything off so if you wanted to you know maybe keep all your kids toys and everything all kind of uh, sequestered away there you can and then a nice office here with windows out to the side as well and uh, some uh, wonderful glass doors to close everything off there so moving on into the living room dining space um, and then uh, the kitchen once again you've got a massive island here over 12 foot long uh, you've got you know your your gas range built-in appliances another thing I didn't mention here you've got uh, this is a double pool trash so you got you know if you want to do recycling and trash but everything is soft clothes so that is standard in these kitchens which is really really nice so definitely a nice touch there and then nice big pantry there as well. And then like we've seen in you know, many of the other floor plans, these great arched cathedral ceilings and a view out to the back 
with some green space for this specific home, which is nice for sure. You got your electric fireplace there, covered patio on the back, and then we'll swing around here into the master with those tray ceilings, beautiful windows out to the back, one out to the side. And then this is a different setup here. We've got the separate vanities and then the tub in the middle here. And then we've got the large walk-in shower with the bench there as well. So this is a little bit of a different layout than we've seen. A uh, little bit of a longer bathroom, but a really cool design nonetheless. You got more uh, storage there, and then a spot for your commode there. Uh, but I really like the way this bathroom is set up. And then you got that natural light coming in the middle there as well. And then your master closet with once again, tons and tons of space. So a lot of flexibility, a lot of different options here on this Raleigh floor plan, current one move in ready and uh, priced at 450,000 right now. All right, so this has just been us walking through some of the current available inventory here in the Oaks of North Grove neighborhood uh, from Chesmar Homes. I hope you all really enjoyed uh, looking through these homes. They really do have some wonderful features to them uh, that are just kind of standard. So a little bit of a higher end touch and feel to them. And uh, if you all have any questions about this current inventory or um, you know even lots to build on out here, definitely you know reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to you know try to answer those questions and help you out whether you're here in DFW relocating or you're moving here from you know any of the other wonderful states here in the U.S. Um, I've been able to you know help folks relocate and move to the area successfully uh, throughout my years as a real estate agent here uh, in the DFW Metroplex. Like I said, this is my YouTube channel here talking about living in and around Ellis County, Texas. This inventory, you know, this inventory is currently available here in Waxahachie. I've got a lot of great options and features in and around Ellis County. So if this doesn't, you know, suit your needs or it's not what you're looking for, definitely reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help out, you know, take an inventory of what you're trying to, you know, get into here, a uh, type of home that would fit your needs and help you make a successful move to the area. So I hope you all have a great rest of your week and I will see you next week. Take care.